unidentified target. Interesting. Welcome everyone, I'm Voice Nature, and this is Top Tier Tips. In this session, we're going to be looking at the other SNK guest, KOS resident Ice Queen, Kula Diamond. Kula's a slippery one in DOA 6. I mean like, literally, she can just slide across the ground. Alright, similar to Mai Shi or Nui, uh, Kula in his gameplay involves utilization of special cancelable moves. For instance, she has her quarter circle back KK. She has her uh, quarter circle back K down K. She has her quarter circle back P, which is looks like a DP move and is also one of her powerful close hit moves. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And she also possesses her infamous diamond breath freezing move, which can allow guaranteed follow ups. So basically, Kula sub zero. So here's some examples of moves that can cancel into. Uh, Kula special moves. Some can include 6PP, PP 6P, uh, 8P 6P. Basically, anything that leads into that headbutt can usually lead into a cancel, such as also 9K 6P, and also, her 3 P plus K launcher can lead only into quarter circle back KK or quarter circle back down K, so like so. Although you can also use stuff like the down K for like kind of combo extensions. Anyways, once you're done Kula's command training. And combo challenge, then you're ready to take down Kadash, who should be joining the DOA roster sometime in the future. Not quite, it's to take a little bit more than that to freeze the souls of everyone who opposes you. If you like fast strike speeds, decent mobility, and like ice based shenanigans, you'll have a chilling time with Kuro. Alright, I'm about to slap on the move details box, your best friend in trainer mode. This is also referred to as the skill info. And let's see what Kula's packing. Well, besides ice. It's got a 9 frame jab, 11 frame elbow, 13 frame low jab, minus 4 on block, and a 14 frame mid kick that's minus 5, well, minus 5 on block. But your low jab is kind of nice because it's plus 0 or neutral on normal hit. So with a 9 frame jab and an 11 frame elbow, that is really good. Because that means after a 2p, you still got your 9 frame jab, your 11 frame elbow. Uh, your 14 frame mid kick doesn't have any follow ups. It gives you plus 4 on a normal hit, so it, it, although it can give you plus 12 on counter hit, I'll just show you right now. Which can give you like a free jab. And Kula also has a 13 frame high kick and a good PK, which is kind of the same thing. So the high kick will give you plus 6 on normal hit and plus 23 on counter. Be a little careful with Kula's jab on block. Because it is minus 6, which is quite a bit of negative. So doing like jab free cancels on block won't be as good with her compared to other characters whose jabs are not as, that much negative on block. But luckily her jab strings are still really good, even something like PP. Because she, uh, for instance, if you were to do anything that ends in like her quarter circle back KK string, so like PPP KK, you see right here you'll be left at, at minus 6. Which is um, really good for a mid-string ender because basically you can't you can't be punished for that opposed to the opponent trying to do a neutral throw, which are again a break, which is a breakable by the throw button. So you basically can't really be can't really be significantly punished for that. So basically minus six, you're perfectly fine. So again, anything that ends in that ender is really good. With regards to that move. If it does hit, you're left at plus 17. Free mid kick launch. Then you can get a free mid kick launcher fall up with that. You could do like a small juggle after that. So, in general, I really like this move. And to, to make things even better, of course, when the opponent's expecting the mid, you got the low follow up. 
on general with Kula, you're going to be leading your offense in close with with your dab strings. Like I already showed you that PPP KK or PPP K 2K are, are decent strings to place on an opponent's um, block or on, or on hit. Well, obviously it's better when you hit the opponent. Uh, other stuff you can use is just do like PP 2K or punch punch down kick. There's a PP 6P, so punch punch forward punch. Uh, I'll let you know that punch punch forward punch and 6PP or forward punch punch, both of those strings do cancel. I think I probably mentioned it earlier, but it is good for reiteration. So with these strings, Especially if blocked, don't just stop it there or you will be uh, negative at negative drains which are punishable by forward throws or even sometimes even 10 frame throws if it's not negative. So in general, they may try and 6 to you if you just block those. So make sure to always, if you can, go for the cancels unless the opponent's really expecting you to do the cancel and then, then you can occasionally just stop there. But yeah, for, for for if you're doing 6PP or PP6P, go for a go for the quarter circle back K mix up after that. If you want on hit, you can also use like PPK, which is um jab jab uh, mid kick. Although this one it's plus four on normal hits, but on block you're at minus nine. So I prefer just simply just doing like PPP. KK or something that just ends in this string to be safe. And if you score a counter hit with 6P, just swag on them. Now that was cool. Love. Alright, just to be going over some crush moves with Kula. Alright, for some go-to low crushes, of course you have your, your low jab, uh, your low kick, so 2P, 2K, 1P, which will also serve as your track in low. Uh, you also have 3 H plus K, or uh, down forward guard plus kick. And this is actually a really good move. So same thing with like PP, 2K. If, if you do PP, the opponent tries to retaliate with a jab. PP, 2K will go under any jab retaliation, so that's good. You have another tracking low with 2H plus K. So right here, he gets you plus 9 on normal hits, so that's another pretty good low. And for other more risky high crushes, Kula has a DP. Yes, this move will go under jabs nicely. Careful if it gets blocked, though. You are left at minus 35 and you can get punished with whatever the opponent wants to use them. We're gonna take a look at Kula's low crushes now. Alright, a nice go-to low crush will be 6 H plus K. You see right there it blasts the opponent away, deals 32 damage and is a 22 frame mid kick so it can't be crouched. The main thing about this move is that it is zero on block, so plus zero or neutral on block. That means that Kula gets buttons. With a 9 frame jab and 11 frame elbow, you base, your jab basically cannot be beaten out. The worst that happens is that you'll probably maybe trade jabs. Take note that with Kula's elbow, it only deals 17 damage. So that means that 11 frame elbows such as Kasumi's, Janli's, or Zack's can beat it out because it deals 18 damage. But under most circumstances, you can just take the safe way and just trade jabs at worst with other 9 frame jabbers. So in general, plus zero is really good with Kula. Uh, for another low crush you have now, jump in P, or 9 PP. So this right here is a 2D style jump in move. You are at plus one on block, so that means that your jab pretty much straight up becomes a frame trap. You can pretty much elbow or jab for free, so you can jab without uh, fear of being um, beaten, being um, well beaten out. The opponent essentially has to sidestep you or like crush you in order to beat it out. So generally you you are in control of that situation. Once you actually get the opponent respecting that, then you can, well, you can start to kind of like sneak in other stuff, such as 4KK, and right now you're at another frame trap where you're at um, plus zero. And then again, with more frame traps, that means more, more attempts at pressure against your opponent. Let's take a look at Kula's tracking moves. All right, right here is 1P. This is, will be your go-to track in low, 16 frames, instant high crush. 
tracking, but it is minus four on normal hit. That is not really very good. But on counter hit, you will be plus four. So that means free jab, free six B. And as you see, six Bs are plus 20. So it can usually get in a free um, three P for instance. Uh, for a normal hit low, tracking low, you have two H plus K, two guard plus kick. You're at plus nine. So same thing, you can go for elbow follow-ups or like whatever will reach. Uh, but for your go-to track and move, it'll be 4P. It's the same as PPP. Well, PPP. There we go. Not DP. DP doesn't track because that move is already damn good as it is. So I like 4P. Because its follow-up is tracking also. It leads into the... The 4P KK. Which is the quarter circle KK string. See, so you're at minus 6. And again, it has the same mix-up at the end. But if you stop the string on just 4P, you're minus 11. So that means you can get thrown for that. If you stop the string at 4PK, you are also unsafe and can get thrown for that. But the move is pretty delayable. So if you mix it up well enough, you're probably not really going to get punished too often for that. It's only if that's all you do, then the opponent will just call you out and throw you for that. Uh, for other tracking moves, you have like 4KK. Remember, after the jump in. Once, the, once you've got the opponent to respect your that the, your frame advantage, then you can start to sneak in this 18 frame, two hit string where the second hit is a track and move, and now you're at another frame trap. So, yeah, there's another one. For other track and moves, you have jump K, 9 PK. You're at a minus 11, but it's a track and high kick. If you're blocked, yes, you're unsafe. If you hit, you're at a plus 26 normal hit stun, so that's pretty good. This is for people that want to sidestep your jump in P. Um, for another one, you have uh, tracking move. For if you're tracking launcher, you have H plus K. You see, it's minus 12 on block, but when it hits, it launches on normal hit or counter hit. And you see, you get a higher launch and counter hit. So, this move for people that try to sidestep or just a general launcher, this one is nice. But if you need, if, if but just in case, if you need a fast launcher, it's it's 8k. From around mid range with Kula, what you want to try and do is to try and get in on your opponent with either the quarter circle back KK strings, um, jump in P, or six H plus K. All right, I'll let you know that jump in P and six H plus K are a little slow. You can also try and get in with six six. K, but that's also a little slow, but it's it's minus seven and it's well because of that you can't be six or seven frames row punished like like 3k which looks similar which can be forward throw. So with getting in on Kula, generally what I would probably recommend, I mean, along with those tools that I just outlined right there, is maybe try and do some baits with like any of your strings that kind of go to cancels, like like 6 PP. If the opponent whiffs anything, then hit them with the, your your quarter circle forward diamond breath. Uh, for getting in, then you can use 6 PP, then quarter circle back KK, and now you're in and at just minus six and just minus six on block. There's also stuff like 9 K P, which can also transition into the into any of the cancel moves. There's also PP uh, PP 6 P which can go into cancels. Although I find that the, the cancels that require, that had the the move that looks like that, those ones, the timing I find is a little tighter than than like six. It's something like six PP. I don't know. I just I just find it like a little tighter. So you might have to practice it a little bit. But I find that being able to bait someone to get hit by the freeze can be really good because you may have noticed that. You can get a free break blow if someone gets hit by the freeze, even on normal hit. I want to show you a little perk with regards to Kula's quarter circle P uh, diamond breath move. As you can see right here, it is minus 13 on block when the opponent, um, well, guards it. So that means that if I were to set the opponent to, to punish with a stand in throw one or your 6T, I could be guaranteed throw punish and I can't get out of that. But, let's say if I were to do that around, let's say, tip range. You see right there, the throw will whiff. So if you can end up um, using this around, kind of like, 
tip range, then the throw will whip. Although you have to get it at tip range or 60s will usually reach quite well. So that's pretty neat though. So, But basically, this move is a pretty good whip puncher because of the fact that it has a good hit status on either a counter hit or normal hit because it always gives you a free follow-up afterwards. And if you want to get away and create space from your oh-so-scary opponent, use 7P and then proceed to use 4P KK shenanigans. Alright, when you got the opponent backed into a corner with Kula, alright, what I would like you to wall slam with could be moves such as 8K. This one will generally be your go-to because um, Kula's wall slam and moves are not really the best. There's also stuff like 6 H plus K, H plus K, I mean, she has a bunch of stuff, but they're kind of slow. If you want to get the small wall slam, then 3K, 3K is good. Uh, for other wall slam moves, you can also use 6 P plus K, but generally, I mean, it kind of sucks that Kula's K doesn't really wall slam, so she doesn't really, like you said, she doesn't really necessarily have the best wall slam in moves, but, but generally 3K and uh, H plus K are pretty good. When you do wall slam with Kula, Follow up with this combo. Alright, right there after the wall slam. So it's 4P, free cancel, and 6P, P, quarter circle. Uh, 6P, P, then cancel the quarter circle back KK. If you get the small wall slump, you're gonna have to follow up with a different combo. Alright, what I did right there is after the small wall slump, use the 3 P plus K launcher. With the 3 P plus K launcher, you have to do quarter circle back K 2K right away. And after the uh, the quarter circle back K 2K, dude, then just finish off with 6 P P quarter circle back KK. Kula's throw game's not really very good. I mean, she just kind of basically does the standard damage 45 for 5 frame throw, 50 damage, um, 7 frame punish throw. 56 damage for a 10 frame throw and her quarter circle and her quarter circle forward T throw or 12 frame throw to 62 damage so her 10 and 12 frame throws can switch sides whereas her neutral throw and her 60 can cause wall damage so generally when you have the opponent to the corner you want to hit them with 60 but you don't really get the slump down so the opponent can still do a wake up kick after on um, after they get slammed to the wall, so you don't really get the good um, slump down status. So if you do like the other throws, you see you just switch sides. So I mean, the only really good thing I like about Kula's throw game is that she she has a run and throw, and it looks pretty swag. All right, guys, that's it for now. Uh, the kind of stuff I recommend practicing with Kula is just kind of a equating yourself with her special cancels. Like the different kind of moves that can lead into it. And another thing also you can try and do is try and space out quarter circle P to try and get it around tip range so that some characters' um, forward throws may whiff on you. So just to make it a bit like safer. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Alright, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me on my YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. So that means leaving a comment down below. You can also contact Force Nature on freestepdodge.com. And be sure to check out my other um, character guides um, on my top tier tips advanced guides. And if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to join top tier fighters. The support does help and I do appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, um, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, just like, leave a like anyways. So, Kula on guys. Yeah. Anyways, this is Force Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time on top tier tips. Winner. Winner.